So one day I, I sat down and went through the exercise of figuring out how many discrete steps do I really take to make a bass. I came up with 360 steps and I cataloged them all. And I won't take you through all 360, but I thought I'll go through the basic kind of overlay of what I do with the kind of thought that a little bit of information is a dangerous thing. The first thing I always do is make a full scale drawing uh, one-to-one -one relationship with the bass guitar I'm going to build. I, I really feel like I get a total sense of the guitar and it'll, it'll avoid a lot of mistakes. Um, on this particular drawing I have a um, single cutaway shape and a dual cutaway shape. So I've even gotten to the point where I've laid down every string, where the pickups are, the bridge, the tone controls, the electronic cavity, the tuners, and I will literally keep building the components and setting things on the drawing. It just really uh, grounds me and, and uh, makes sure that I don't make mistakes. Um, so from here, the, f the first step that we're gonna go to is to, to do the neck. As, as you can see, the, the kind of bass I build is a neck through. This is literally the neck will go all the way through the body of the bass. Uh, another common way to do it is the neck stops about here and you bolt on with several bolts the, the neck to the body. The reason I, I build neck throughs is you get great sustain and when you think about it, it's a critical point right here where you bolt on a neck. That's the middle of your span between where the bridge is and where the tuners are. Right in the middle you have a weak point. So just from a design standpoint, that never sounded right to me. It's not that you can't make a great bolt-on bass. There are lots of basses that are, that are terrific. It's just that this design makes more sense to me. So literally, on this one beam, you have your tuners, your nut, the strings, the frets, the fretboard, the pickups, and the bridge are all literally on this one uninterrupted beam. So um, I've heard people say, and I kind of believe it, that 85% of the tone of a bass guitar on a neck through comes from the neck. And that, you know, you're, it's, it will affect the tone to a degree, the body and the top wood that you use, but a lot of your tone is in the neck. So the first thing that, that we're going to do is build the neck. <laughs> 